So here's the breaking news tonight on who tipped off the National Enquirer to the romance between Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez. I want to bring in now CNN reporters Oliver Darcy and Chloe Malas. Hello. Boy, this story gets more interesting by the second. You've learned who leaked these Bezos photos uh, and texts. Who is yes, it? Yes, so drum roll please. Uh, it is her brother, Michael Sanchez. So two sources have told Oliver and I that Michael Sanchez took it upon himself to go to the National Enquirer, tip them off that his sister was in a relationship with Jeff Bezos. He provided text messages and proof to the National Enquirer, and that's when the National Enquirer then launched their investigation and started trailing them for months across multiple states uh, and got photographs of them, and they broke the story that they were both allegedly cheating on their spouses and in this relationship with each other. Why would he blow up his sister's spot like that? That's a really good question. <laughs> I, I just don't know. I can only imagine that the holidays will be super awkward oh for my. all of them to I'd be so mad. Like, sis, why you want to blow me up like that? What's wrong? I do want to tell you, though, that Michael Sanchez, when we went to him today for comment, he will not give an on-the-record comment as to whether or not he is the leaker. Um, yeah. He has spoken to other outlets saying that either A, to the Washington Post, that he had no involvement at all, or, you know, to the New York Post, he mm -hmm. said something a little bit different. But Yeah. So uh, in his blog, Jeff Bezos has been suggesting that the Saudis or President Trump had something to do with exposing uh, his relationship with Lauren Sanchez to the National Enquirer. What do you know? Well, it, yeah, Bezos made a number of explosive suggestions in that blog post, right? He mentioned the Saudis. He kind of talked about Trump. And basically, in effect, what he was saying was really that maybe Trump or the Saudis played some sort of role in getting this out to the National Enquirer or maybe the National Enquirer did to curry favor um, with with uh, with uh, Trump and and so uh, Jeff Bezos has launched this investigation, but they have not provided any sort of evidence to substantiate mm. those revelations or those, those suggestions in his blog post. Um, we've asked a number of questions to Jeff Bezos representatives, asking if they can share details of the investigation, conclusions that they found. They declined to provide an on-the-record comment, and I really think at this point, you know, six days out after Jeff Bezos went and made these explosive suggestions in his blog post, journalists should really be asking him, what evidence do you have? Why did you mention the Saudis? Why did you mention Trump in your blog post? Because it was about blackmail, but he went out of his way to mention these things, and we don't have any answers as to why he did that. And also, I think, suggesting it had to do with Khashoggi, right? With, with Khashoggi's death? That was a suggestion that maybe that the Washington Post, which Jeff Bezos owns, their aggressive reporting on Khashoggi and his murder had made him enemies with Saudi Arabia, or maybe, you know, Trump, who's good friends with David Pecker, who is a chief executive at the National Enquirer. Um, maybe Trump doesn't like Bezos because of the critical reporting the Washington Post did there. Mm -hmm. uh, the suggestion, there were a lot of suggestions in there, a lot of explosive suggestions, if true, too. Yeah. And there has been no evidence provided by Bezos' camp six days later to substantiate any of this. All right. Oliver, Chloe, thank you. I appreciate your time. Good reporting.